How many of you out there have a grandmother or have had a grandmother at some point in your lives? Well, you know some I had one too. And while this is not a picture of my grandmother, I still, wants me, I still want to tell you a story about my grandmother. She was the perfect person. She was nice to me. She would dance with me. She would sing with me. She'd make me feel like I was the most incredible person in the world. And sadly, later in life, I realized that my grandmother didn't always make appropriate choices. You see, my grandmother started teaching like in 1925, and I imagine her classroom probably looks something like this. And she had a kid in her class that sometimes we all have. And that kid, that's the stinky kid. Somebody who didn't smell well. And this is where my grandmother started making her first inappropriate choice. She thought it would be funny to put a note on that kid with the words that said something like this, smell this one. And then she would send that kid next door to the teacher next door. Apparently she did this more than one time. And if you do something over and over to a child like that, well, the parents are going to find out. And the parents, they did find out. And they thought that they'd send their own note back, and that note said, your job is to learn them, not smell them. Now, as teachers, we kind of make fun of, fun of the grammar there, and we know that our true job is to teach them, not to learn them, right? OK, so my grandmother got her start teaching in rural Wisconsin in the United States. I got my jo first job teaching in the island of Saipan in Micronesia. If you're a World War II history buff, you might have actually heard of the place. Uh, her classroom looked like this, complete with that stinky kid. My students looked more like this. This actually is a picture of some of my students. They didn't dress this way every day, just on their cultural day. Now, being in my 20s, I made sure I took full advantage of all professional development opportunities there were. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you have hair. <laughs> but my job was to teach them, right? And for those kids that couldn't, didn't really learn, the ones I weren't reaching, the answer was simple. Those guys were lazy. They needed discipline. They needed motivation. Simply put, those kids don't want to learn. And then as you get a little older, sometimes things change in your life. So I got married. I thought to myself, let's have a couple kids, and we did. So that's my daughter and my son. A couple years into the whole event, it turned out my son was diagnosed with autism. Having a child with special needs changes your world quite a bit. Some might even say, it opens doors for you. For me, I suddenly embraced Prozac in a whole new way that I'd ever had, never had in the past. Mixed drinks became very common in our household. And my wife and I became experts at pointing fingers at each other. It's your fault, it's your mother's genetics, not mine. But when you have a child with special needs, you start to look at your students in a different way. You start to perhaps understand them a little bit better. And then you start to realize that truly, as a teacher, it's your responsibility. And the actual reality is, all kids want to, to do well. We just have to reach them. So that's my challenge to you today. If you have a student who's a bit of an outlier, a student who's a little bit on the edge, get to know their different learning profiles. Understand their learning styles in a way that you haven't in the past. If you have a child that walks around all the time and just can't seem to sit still, he's not trying to annoy you. He may have problems regulating his sensory system. Learn a little bit more about sensory integration. Check out game-based learning. Offer opportunities for nonverbal interaction. You might be really surprised how much is going on in that head of that child that you thought maybe wasn't interested. If you're a nerdy person like me, check out some of the great opportunities for customized and adaptive learning. But please help me. Help me to change the narrative. All kids want to do well. Let's not just teach them. Let's learn them. If you want to smell them, that's up to you. <laughs> Thank you.